Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new little device that I received from Melly Group. It is called Star Cloud PCG03 Plus. This box is a Windows 10 little box. We're going to review it today and also show you what is included inside and how fast this will go. Alright, so you can see the box is nicely designed going all the way around. has all the markings that you really need. And once you open it, it has a little ledge on the top that you have to take it out. And you can see the box is nicely shrink wrapped and set up inside. When we open it, again, the parts that are included inside of this is the Star Cloud PCG03 plus box itself plus it comes with the user manual and also it comes with a power adapter that the faceplate is detachable so that way you can connect it to any part of the world that you want you do not have to buy another power adapter in order to connect this all right so let's just go around the box itself you can see it's nicely designed on the top has a really nice embedded logo on the top it says star cloud it has a really nice little sticker for intel pentium the cpu on this is an atom and go into the front part it has little led indicator so once it's turned on or turned off you will see the light change color and going on the right hand side of it and the front you can see it does indicate that with a huge writing that this is a PCG03 plus going on the right hand side of it there's nothing there but going to the back from the left hand side there's a little part so you can lock this box itself so it would not work then you have the DC connection which is 12 volt and right beside it we have the VGA connection right beside it you have the HDMI connection and then right you have the ethernet connection and then LAN connection right beside it you have two USB 2.0 ports and then you have the nice antenna now if we go a little bit at the bottom of the antenna we have the headset jack this is really cool if you have speakers going on the right side of it you have one USB 3.0 port and then you have the big slot for the SD card and then the power button going to the bottom part of the box itself it has four little legs so it can stand up so that way it does not have to heat up and again this has a very nice heat sink in the bottom all right so enough said about this let's just get this connected and go inside i already set up the box itself you can see the screen right now we are already just logging in and you can set it up without signing into windows 10 using your email address you can just say to skip for the first time and then it will allow you to just regular create your username this we do not have to sign into your hotmail account or outlook account in order to log in once it goes in, the screen is very, very simple. It's Windows 10, so you do not have to upgrade your box into Windows 10. And this is what you're going to see. So from the bottom left-hand side, you have the, the Start button, and then you have the Cortana button, and then you have the Task View. It already comes preloaded with the Microsoft Edge, of they named it now. Also has the regular file explorer, the regular store, so you can download and you can purchase other apps on your PC. Go on to the left hand side in the bottom, we have a little part that you can click on and it shows you the stuff that is running, but again you cannot bring it here. So when you click on it, you have the regular Intel Pentium HD graphics, we will get into it in a few seconds. It also has the Bluetooth 4.0, so you can connect your wireless keyboard, mouse, headset, also there is one drive which is part of microsoft it gives you about five gigabyte of space so you can back up your content and then you have the wi-fi connection so if you click on it this is where you're going to go in order to connect your wi-fi and you just have to click on it you have to say connect it will ask you for password you need to type it and once you say next it will connect it for you we're not going to do it since we are already connected then we have the volume control if you click this is how you're going to bring the volume up or down and then we have the the task button when you click on it the task bar will come up and this will show you how everything is set up if you have anything as an email wise or any kind of notification this is where it's going to hide so you can click on it and you can hide or you can clear all and it will get rid of everything from your action center or task manager now the next thing we want to show you is what type of processor this box have so first of all when we go inside a file explorer and we go under PC, it will show you how big is your hard drive. Right now it does say 28 gigabyte, but I know that this is 32 gigabyte. This is how it shows how much has been used and how much is free. All right, we will get out of this and let's go into CPU Z. Now this bad boy is going to show us what type of processor we have inside of this box itself. 
So we will wait till it actually loads. Again, this is the first boot. I haven't been inside of this. And when it comes up, it actually tells you the processor name. So it is Intel Atom X5. It's indicating here. But over here, it also says it's X5Z8300. The code name for this is called Cherry Trail. And if you go on the bottom, it says Package Socket S1380. And it's the BGA. And also specification is under Intel Pentium Atom Z. It is running on 1.44 gigahertz. If we go down, this is where you're going to see the clock core. Now, if we go under main board, this is you're going to see the manufacturer, which is mini PC. The model number is right there too, which is the Cherry Trail CR. The BIOS brand name is American Megatrans. The version is there too. And we go under memory. This is where you're going to see how much gigabyte of memory you have. So it is running on DDR3. The size is 1978, which is two gigabyte. The DRAM frequency is set up under 800 megahertz and it just goes up and down since how much we're going to use and how much we're not going to use. We're going under the graphics card. Yes, the built-in graphics card is the Intel HD graphics. It is set up on one gigabit. And everything else is there too. So if you want to do a benchmark for these, you can just put a check mark and it will do it for you. All right, so we will get out of this. The next thing we want to test is going to be Kodi. So if we double click on it. Now what we have done is we just installed this. This is the latest version. So this is the latest version that is out there. And once it comes up, you can see that it has asked you for allowance to allow access to the internet. We will click that. Right, so as soon as it boots in, this is the look you will see. And just to show you guys that we are on Windows and we are running this on the PCG03, we will go under System and we will go under System Info. When you select it on the top, you can see that it is running. Memory is right there and it is running on 1080p full screen. It is the operating system is Windows 10. And if you go on the bottom, you can see the CPU usage and also the RAM usage out of two gigabytes. So it is a little bit over a gigabyte of space. Remember that we are running this on Windows. So Windows also going to use a little bit of resource from the memory and also from the CPU. But you can see how much it goes up and down. And if you look on the bottom, the Kodi built version is in the bottom and also when it was compiled. All right, so we will try to play a video. So in order to do that, we have file on a USB. So we'll just go under files, video and files, and we will click again on files. And this is our USB. We will select it, one of our stock files. So when we click on the 1080p video, you can see that how smooth and how nice automatically it start playing it for us. And you can see in the bottom that it is 1080p. It is AAC and it is running 2.0. And the bottom, you can see it that there is no delay. It automatically quickly start pick it up and play it for you. All right, so we will exit out of this. And I do not want to forget. And if we right click here and we go to graphics properties, this is the Intel graphics control panel. This is how we're going to set up a lot of things through it. Again, the windows do provide a lot of these things by default, but here's really cool things. So if we go in, we have display 3D profiles, video, power, and also options and support. So if you go under display and we select it. Now when it comes up, it actually shows you that not only we have general, but we also have color settings. So this we can fix the color if it looks different. A multiple display. This box do support multiple display since you have the HDMI and you have the VGA connection. That's how you're going to connect it to two monitors at the same time. So you can use this box. Again, it's a very powerful little box. You go under custom resolution, you can also do that. We're not going to do it right now. But once we go back home, the box itself is fanless. It's one of the things that is very, very, very quiet. It is running right now. I don't think you can hear it. It is very quiet. Second thing is the windows that they have installed on this is genuine. So they did pay the licenses. You do not have to worry about paying this later. It has been done perfectly. And the third thing I would really recommend this for everyone to purchase because it is not expensive. Plus, it is a very nice little box that you can use for your day-to-day -day computing. Also, if you are a student and you are worried about losing or somebody going to steal your laptop or anything like that, it's inexpensive, so you do not have to worry. Again, I really like this. This is one of my top boxes from now on. I'm going to hook this up so I can do my daily computing with this. I really enjoy this. It does not heat up at all. It is a very, very cool little box. I will be providing all the links where you can order this or the other little products that I have indicated on this video. The regular 
wired mouse or you want to get a keyboard that is wireless or wired or you want to get some Bluetooth keyboards and mouse, I will be providing all those links at the bottom of this video. So in the meantime, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Vine, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.